Kingston, Richmond, everyone's like, oh, what, David Stenhouse? I know David Stenhouse. <laughs> Seriously, he's brilliant. And, um, you know, I've had the great pleasure, he has taken me to see, so he, I grew up listening to so much amazing music, folk music, because of my dad. He taught me to chill to see, Chris Jones, John Menborn, like Isaac Gilley, all these complete legends, right? Including Bert Yanks. Wow. So he's asked me to play well, a couple of man tunes tonight, but also this, this one that he particularly likes of Bert. Um, and obviously Bert's a total legend. And, um, so I'll do what I can. But uh, yeah, my dad was running a club, you know, back in the 60s. And Bert Yanks turns up and he's sat there tuning for hours, minutes. It seems like hours, right? And then somebody comes out with this and he said, I'm just blowing my mind. So, no pressure. <laughs> Broken and the clock isn't working, and the video is set on, and I'm like, oh, Christ, I might be done it. So, <laughs> so I've got a list of things to do. And the next one, um, so I'm, I'm a songwriter, really. A gnarly punk band at the moment called Cusk, which you can find on Spotify and all that stuff, K -S -K. Um But I spent years playing this kind of stuff. Um, I was writing this song. Okay. What's I was writing in Brighton, so I live in Brighton. Okay, I'm not curious. And um, I was on my knees in the front room, a couple of bottles of wine down, um, writing, just writing. 
and this um, absolutely kicked off that side of the street. And, um, and this 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 kid had been out in Brighton, and he'd come back with his mates, and he'd been he'd been bombed, he'd been smashed in the head, smacked in the head, and um, and his blood all over. He was really freaking out. His mum came out, screaming in the street, and his friends were trying to stop him. He wanted to go back into town and fucking have it happen. The whole thing was just chaos. And um. And, uh, and, 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 they, and they took him down, he went back in for hours. You know, Brighton, you think Brighton's the most people place. Shit, they police that in the centre of Brighton every, every Friday or something. And, um, yeah, so I went out on the street the next day, there's blood all down the street. But, you know, I think he, you know, he'll survive. <laughs> he survived to live another day. But, um, but anyway, this is about that night. It's called uh, Johnny Broken. Difficult time. 
Fact is, loads of people out there doing their jobs, trying to make the place safe for people, for the troops, but also for the people who live there. They're not involved in the politics, they're just there doing their jobs. Um, and, there's, you know, and, and there was a story in the press about this um, sapper, Olaf Schmidt, who right, stuck in my mind, you know, he's a brave guy. Um, Lisa Head also, you know, a sapper who gave a life like that. Trying to make the place safe, right? So despite the politics, they're there. Do an edge job. Got what your life if you listen. Silence. Dust blows around in the morning. We wake with our hopes and lungs in silent prayer. But to hear that crack with our name ringing clear. Or the click is
right as we follow America.